Some of you have maybe seen this in former videos a year or two ago, the Bolton BT1337G. And uh, I've got a couple of uh, inverters in here. Uh, this one's got an upgraded two horsepower. Um, currently I've got a V-belt on here. I've got to make some changes. Yeah, I've got a disc brake set up with things. And I took it all off because I'm getting ready to do the actual CNC conversion on here. Uh, server will sit down in here and uh, fall through, obviously. And then I have linear uh, rails and I'm making a new saddle. It'll be an extended saddle because I'm, I'm building an ATC right now. Here's, uh, here's going to be an eight position tool changer. On one of the other machines, I'm making caps that will go and wedge these into place. And then I will also have for boring bars. Uh, this will be finished, so I'll have to do the, the top. So I'll put numbers, so it'll say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll update that later. And um, I have a uh, curved coupler that I made. It's a concave convex design with a five degree taper. I'm kind of in between hobbyist and uh, professional here, so I've got all this, you know, fiddles and, and rubble drills and stuff here. So I'm able to make these parts together so the coupler will go. And that'll be all, you know, pneumatically controlled with springs on it. I'm using a uh, uh, PTL style shaft here and I machined a, a coupler that will slide. I'm trying to do this one here, but it will slide so it allows that to push out, rotate, lock back in. It's a little bit on the long side yet. I still have to machine that down. Over here, I'm making three of the tool holders, trying not to get wet here. Those are gonna be for larger 5-8 tools that I'll be making. And then I have uh, some alloy uh, caps that I'm gonna be making for the plate that'll go over here. I'll do another video and show that. I just kinda wanna give you guys some ideas. I don't know how, I mean, you could probably make something like this on a manual mill, it'd be very, time-wise and uh, just uh, all the calculations and everything it would be a pain in the butt but with eight sides at least you know you could shift so you could get the geometry so you not have to do any diagonal cut but I, I suppose it could be possible I had actually started making these on manual machines before I was working in an industrial shop But uh, I can tell you that I was out a few tenths in tolerance, so I was able to clean these up and get them nice and square. Over here, I have uh, a housing. put all the glass scales back on it. I don't know if I mentioned that in the previous video or not. But uh, yeah, finally getting all this stuff done and just get it out of the way. I'll update and go over uh, the next stages here in the near future, hopefully. 